hello friends once again i welcome you all on behalf of this channel so now in this module i will talk about this questions okay and the concept behind this question so first let's see this question so uh, what is the so the actual this question is came in what iit jam 2019 examination so what what we have to see uh, so this is the simple uh, you can see here, here this is the alpha hello ketone and here is what it is a base so what we have to do here here uh, there is a favors key rearrangement involved in this reaction now so most important this is one thing is it is a, a name reaction and along with that there is a some other concept is also involved in that so that i have to so that uh, i will tell you that in that so what star is what this represent the isotopic labeled what carbon atom so isotopic labeled carbon atom is the star so what we have to uh, uh, derive the mechanism also and what uh, which product will be what form that also i have to tell you so here in two option you can clearly say that actually the products are same but the the position of star is what the labeled carbon is what different okay you can clearly see here okay in these there are three options that are all, almost same okay so what how to distinguish that so so for that we have to see one important concept that is that is the isotopes in the organic chemistry so that we have to see here okay so let's see that first then we will solve this problem okay so now let's see the uh, that concept first so what is the concept that is came here so that we have to see here okay so now we have to see here the what are the importance of the isotopes in what organic chemistry okay so what are the is isotopes generally involved in the uh, in the organic chemistry and um, that we have to see here okay so now here the basically we have what um, the carbon oxygen and hydrogen isotopes are very popular in the organic chemistry so do you uh, you should know the all the isotopes of these these elements so first we will see the isotopes that is the the carbon isotope is over carbon 12 and so, so these are the normal element so that are that are what carbon 12 oxygen 16 and hydrogen so that is protein now so this is the the third the, the that is the third categories you can also see here what which is what so this is what in this the third is what it is not used in the organic chemistry why because of the the radioactive nature of these isotopes tritium is what a radioactive and here carbon 14 is also radioactive so this ca can't be used in the uh, that is in organic chemistry so for the for deciding the what any uh, reactions of of the so that is isotopic uh, topic labeling concept is generally uh, used to distinguish the what a particular element okay so how can we distinguish that we can uh, see with the help of mass spectrometry now so carbon 13 is generally used uh, and so what we'll do uh, in molecule what we do we simple label this carbon by carbon 13 okay and here also what oxygen is labeled as o18 and in this hydrogen is what labeled as a deuterium okay so and the after that what are the uses of these isotopes how can you de decide that uh, these isotopes are helpful in the deciding the uh, mechanism of the reaction and so uh, generally what we see uh, the, there as there are two uh, major importance of the that uh, uh, these isotopes in the deciding the reaction mechanism and the reaction path that will be followed by the any uh, element okay or any uh, any reaction any any reaction we can take okay so what we can see here so firstly what we can uh, do with the help of these isotopes we can what simply uh, de 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 designate that 
which uh, what is the rate of the reaction we can what find we can easily calculate and what is the kinetics of the so what are the kinetics involved in that reaction we can easily find out with all of these isotopes and also we can find out the what are the mechanism that will be involved in the uh, that uh, in the that any reactions so we can find out with the help of these simple isotopes okay now here so you can clearly say that uh, to decide uh, to study the rate of the reactions we can find out the rate of that uh, particular reactions that we can find out the kinetics study we can do that and in the uh, also we can find out the mechanism we can predict the mechanism of the reactions with the help of these isotopes okay so now let's see so one simple example let's see that how can we decide the mechanism of the reactions okay so let's see that now we have what a simple suppose we have what a simple this is what we have given a simple suppose we have given this a simple ester hydrolysis of this uh, this molecule and in presence of base okay so what we have given suppose we uh, we have what uh, done the hydrolysis ester hydrolysis and what we get we get a acid and a alcohol so how to decide that this oh is came from which part of that this uh, reagent or this substrate so that we have to decide that here so here aqueous part that means what is also given to so oxygen is what we have what th at three position we have given a oxygen oxygen atom so how to decide that from where the oxygen is coming that we have to decide so this can be decided by the that is isot uh, isotopes by using isotopes we can easily confirm that so so that that uh, uh, the oxygen is coming from that particular sub part and so what is so now we can what in this reaction in in this reaction itself we can uh, say that there is there are three possibilities uh, from where the oxygen may come so uh, from or dash so this part the oxygen may come and from water also the oxygen may come and from your that is base is also there we have our oxygen so it can come okay so now next the first part the first case we can say that suppose the uh, our oxygen is coming from suppose so what we can uh, do for that we can label this oxygen by o18 okay so this is not a normal oxygen it is a what o18 now this is the labeled one if what we are getting what this is o star that is in the product so that means that uh, the oxygen is confirmed from the ester moiety okay the oxygen is coming in the acid part confirm from the ester moiety and here uh, alcohol will be what a separate part okay. now here also the next part suppose what suppose we have not got this part okay suppose we have not got in the star part in that uh, acids so that means we have what it will be in alcohol moiety so it will be present will it this will present in alcohol moiety okay so this or dash will be from uh, ester part okay so this will be from and now again we have got two possibility so this o is again it can come from what water molecule and from that is from noh part so here again we can see here so this is the noh and this is the water molecule suppose so how to distinguish that only so what we can simply do the deuterated water we can use the deuterated water in place of using the normal water we can use the heavy water and now if we use suppose we are using the heavy water or suppose we are getting this part od so that means we can confirm that this o part is coming from water only okay if suppose uh, we are we are getting if not get if suppose we are not getting that means it is 100 percent sure that the oxygen is coming from this nh part so so by this way we can easily uh, uh, clear that the uh, what we, we that uh, we can decide the mechanism of that particular path okay the that uh, from where the 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 bond is breaking from where it is what uh, may forming a bond with each other and uh, and so these kinds of uh, these kinds of analysis we can do with the help of simple that uh, isotopes simple isotopes by using what simple isotopes we can uh, this is this analysis analysis we can do that okay so now so now again uh, next part is what the 
our main reactions that is so uh, uh, next part is what the application part so what will be the application of these isotopes how can we use uh, in the different how what are the uses of that what are the, the importance application of that so the main importance application of this is what a Faberski re reaction so the Faberski reaction we can clearly see that here so Faberski reaction is uh, we have seen that so that will be discussed in that uh, particular uh, the next module so the the application of that uh, so it, the so this will be the first part of the, this video uh, the next part i will discuss about the in the next part uh, that is this is the past part one and in the next part i will discuss about this application of these isotopes and so i hope so you will uh, like this video and suppose so this is the simple concept that we have to apply here now so so thank you so much for watching this and um, uh, please uh, watch the next part also so that you cor your concept will be very clear and uh, i will be surely make the concept uh, based video for so that the and i will also discuss the some uh, question, question what which are came in the iit jam iit gate and i itifr and csi net examination so uh, surely i will uh, discuss most of the questions based on the concept and so again i will uh, be i will bring some new concept and again i will discuss some uh, problems okay so step by step i will go according to that okay so so thank you so much and have a nice day